She's married, Ken. She got married! We need to stay calm, Lorn. He seems like an interesting guy. Maybe it'll be fine. You encouraged her to go on that gap year. She went away with everything in front of her. Now she's wrecked her life and I didn't get to see the wedding. Hey, guys. Hi, Hi Rachel. Rachel. So, you like him? Like him? We love him. I mean, we don't even know him yet, but I'm sure in time. So we were wondering, um, what are your plans? Where are you thinking of living, etc. Dylan, your sister's home from Thailand. Oh, you're right, Rach. See the Amazon? No, Dylan, I didn't see the Amazon. Mm. Missed a trick there, then, didn't you? I did get married. So? What, am I supposed to congratulate you? Anyone could get married. I could get married. Congratulate me. But you didn't get married? But I could, so fuck off. So, plans? Cuckoo and I were thinking we could stay here with you. I could switch university somewhere local. Obviously, I'm going to have to reapply. And then, in three years, when I'm qualified, we're going to do something like set up a leper colony in some violent, war-torn, failed state where no Westerners go because it's, like, too dangerous. Hmm. You know, the fishermen of Phuket have a saying. Once a woman enters her 40s, her food is her lovemaking. Very tasty, Lorna. Oh, oh, thank you, Cuckoo. You're welcome. What is this? It's lamb noisette. No. What is this? It's a jacket potato. Jacket potato? Yeah. Well, Lorna, I have to say, <laughs> it's fucking delicious. Oh, I mean, <laughs> jacket potato. So, um, what's with the stupid name? Dylan. Dylan's asking if Cuckoo is your real name. You want to know my birth name? Well, my birth name is Dale Ashbrick. Dale Ashbrick. Actually, kind of a funny story. A few years back... I'm not this bit. I was boating on the Moctezuma River with some of these hooey cholas. Okay. And... <laughs> not this bit. Well, it's fine. Your mum and dad are people of the world. So, I had just taken a triple dose of the hallucinogen, peyote. Are you with me, Ken? Yes. Great. I'm out on the river, and I'm buzzing like a handsaw. I'm like engine, brain, together, molecules. And suddenly, I realized I am not a person. I am... All people. Well, obviously not literally. Hey, I'm not sitting here bullshitting you, Ken. I am you. And I am in you. I'm deep inside you. Right there. Anyways, once I realized I was all people, I decided it didn't matter what my name was. Right, well, if it didn't matter what your name was, why'd you bother changing it? Well, I guess I was just high. <laughs> <laughs> Jacket potato. It is just beautiful. I, I keep pinching myself. Oh, thanks, Mum. You've thanked me already, Dilly. I know, but I'm just... I'm always so locked up in my head with all these thoughts of existence and shit, and you still look after me, and... Give me cool stuff. I really love you, Mum. You silly, silly woo-woo. I need you and Rachel to swap rooms. You're fucking shitting me. It's only a room, Dylan. It's my room. I've worked on it. It's got ambiance. Is ambiance a new word for smells of wank? I don't wank. I don't. Mum, I have never wanked. Of course you haven't, Dilly. Do it for me. Do it for your mum, Mum. I tried my new room, I don't like it. Give it a bit longer than two hours, eh, Dylan? Ken, why are you sitting in the dark? This cuckoo guy is ruining everything. Why can't we just pay him off, send him back to Thailand? Dylan, he's Rachel's husband and we all love him. Why does he want to be here anyway, living with you two and married to Rachel, who, I don't want to be rude, but is a massive dog? 
Just give him some money and he'll be out of it. I would be. I'm going to pretend you never said that. Cook who's family now. You know, this is the man who will father our grandchildren, be there for us in our old age, carry father's coffin. Tell him, Ken. Ken! What? Yes, Dylan. It's an absurd idea. You'll be all right, love. You will. I won't. She might not be. Dylan! Well, well, I'm just saying, she's been married now. Kind of used goods. If we lived in a Muslim state, we'd probably have to stone her. <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> however much you love Cuckoo, your mum and I love you just as much. You'll get through this, because I will do anything, anything, to make you happy in the long run. <laughs>